The lessons that we've learned from South America, where wheat blast developed many years ago and has spread, um, is that eradication is really something that's going to be impossible. It is, however, something that we need to learn to live with and that we need to learn to work with farmers to actively manage and to minimize as much as possible. Through a combination of monitoring, surveillance, early warning systems, working with farmers to implement better bed agronomy, um, ideally in the longer run, um, use of durable and resistant cultivars that will reduce the incidence of the disease, um, and making smart science-informed decisions around how to extend information to farmers around wheat blast and wheat cultivation. I do think that at this early stage we still have the hopeful ability to contain its spread and, and minimize its impact by working through those channels. However, if we do nothing at this time and if we are unable to do the work because funding levels are too low or because priorities amongst donors have shifted, then we have essentially what I sort of think is as, as a sleeping monster. Because if the environmental conditions are right and the, the, the spores spread um, and it, if it get, gets uh, exposed in a much larger geographic area, then we could have quite a serious impact that will crop up in several years from now. So it's important to focus efforts at this time to do everything we can to understand the disease and to mitigate its, its longer term impact. The way that I have seen different research groups come together from different organizations to address the issue together in a very collaborative and non-competitive way, I think has been just wonderful and is really encouraging. And it's really because there's so little known about the disease, you need to have the, con um, the combination of the National Research Institutes on the ground, the international centers like CIMIT that are working broadly but are based within country, and advanced research institutions like Corn uh, Cornell and Kansas State University assisting us in the entire process and sharing lab facilities and knowledge um, and, and funds in the long run to make sure that we can do everything that we can to mitigate and contain the disease as much as possible.